today. We're in the herd with men's basketball. After two straight road games, the Bison returned to Swicka Pavilion for a 7 p.m. game with Siena on Tuesday. The Saints are picked near the top of the Metro Atlantic Athletic Conference, and Coach Nate Davis says he knows it'll be a tough game for his squad. Siena's big, physical. They've got guys that can shoot. They've got guys that can post. They're going to go to the glass, so it'll be a good challenge for us again. Four games into the season, Coach Davis feels his team has gotten better and he can clearly see improvements in a number of areas. We've become much more consistent defensively. I thought Saturday was our most consistent effort from beginning to end. We could be a good defensive team if we can put our mind together and sustain it. Um, offensively, there are things we got to work on. we still got spacing issues. Um, we still turn it over a little bit too much, but a lot of that will come just from getting used to playing with a different tempo and getting used to each other. One of the individuals who has been counted on all season long is sophomore Zach Thomas. The Maryland native says he put on 15 pounds of muscle during the offseason thanks to strength coach Jerry Schreck's program. I worked on my inside game a lot and also just be getting more consistent with my jump shot. As you may recall, Thomas didn't really see playing time last year until the Patriot League season began. Some players might hold a grudge against the coaching staff that doesn't allow him to play but Thomas says he doesn't. As tough as it was sitting at the beginning of the year, I definitely have to thank the coaching staff last year. They really prepared me so that when I did come in, I feel like I was able to contribute right away, um, which maybe I might not have been able to do right away. Um, so it was definitely tough to sit out because I knew I could you know, help, but I think it helped a lot to you know, learn the game and just be, prepare myself defensively. Zach and the Bison tip it off at 7 p.m. Tuesday night at Soika Pavilion. And remember, the Bucknell women play at 4.30. So why not catch a doubleheader of Bison basketball?